echoes in the haunting. The wind howled through the ancient trees, their gnarled branches casting grotesque shadows on the dilapidated mansion. Emma, an intrepid journalist, ventured into the decaying structure, drawn by whispers of a malevolent spirit haunting its halls. As she crept through the dimly lit corridors, the air grew icy, and a sense of dread clung to her like a suffocating fog. A distant, mournful wail echoed, sending shivers down her spine. And seen, I seemed to watch her every move. In a forgotten room, Emma discovered a dusty, ornate mirror. Its reflective surface revealed a spectral figure standing behind her, a twisted grin on its ethereal face. Panic surged to her veins as she turned to find nothing but emptiness. Footsteps echoed from the shadows, quickening with each passing moment. Desperation consumed her as she stumbled through the labyrinthine mansion, the unseen presence closing in. Whispers grew into sinister laughter, mocking her futile attempt to escape. In the heart of the mansion, Emma found a decrepit nursery. Weathered toys scattered on the floor seemed to come alive, their haunting laughter merging with the malevolent chorus. The walls closed in, trapping her in a nightmarish symphony of terror. A blood-curdling scream pierced the air as the ghostly figure materialized before her, its eyes ablaze with vengeful fury. The mansion, alive with malevolence, claimed another victim, leaving only echoes of Emma's desperate cries in its forsaken halls. 